There's a hole in my bucket, my bucket. <laughs> you ever heard that song, I guess, right? A bucket that has a hole in it, and they're trying to figure out a way to put something in it to stop the hole, and everything they try, well, the husband said, that won't work, and the wife says, we'll do this. I was driving down the highway today, going down Interstate 20, and my bucket had holes in it. I mean, I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be content. I wanted to have a pleasant drive to Pecos, Texas. I, I wanted all those things to go right. But listen, the drivers were extra special, crazy. I mean, they're always a little crazy, right? It looks like maybe they drank some kind of funny liquid or something. But boy, today, they were really crazy. Called my wife and I said, boy, today's been crazy. And she said, that's funny because the kids at school have kind of been a little crazy today. And talked to a, a co -friend, a friend of mine that that's, uh, works at a karate studio. And then she said, my boys have been sick and this is going on and that's going on. She said, it's just been a crazy day. Talked to another man out in the parking lot today. And he was talking about how his day had just been crazy today. I made this comment kind of in jest. I said, I didn't know that May 3rd was May Day, May Day, May Day. But apparently it is. But it, things are just crazy. And there's a hole in our bucket. You know, some days are like that. We, we have this bucket. We wake up in the morning and we fill our bucket full of happy thoughts and positive thoughts. And, and we want to get this much done and that much done. And we want to be happy. And we want to be content. And we want everything to go well with our family. We want everything to go well at work. And so we just keep filling this bucket and it's full. And we're carrying around this full bucket. And all of a sudden we look down and there's, there's, a, there's a hole in our bucket. And, and happiness begins to slide out. And, and, and the job going good begins to kind of slide out. And a kid comes home in a bad mood and they've been bullied at school. Or maybe they've been a bad grade. Or, you know, on and on and on it goes. And before you know it, we might not just have one hole in our bucket. We may have several holes in our bucket. So what do you do? What do we do when we have a hole in our bucket and we just can't stop it? Let me tell you about the greatest hole in our bucket. It's a hole in our heart. I don't mean physically. I mean spiritually. God created us with a hole in our heart that's the size and the shape that only he can fill. So those days when I'm having a hole in my bucket day or those days when my bucket looks like this and I'm just going, whew, man, I can't wait till this day is over. Can't wait to get home. And then I get home to find out my dog got sick and threw up inside. You know those days. You've had those days. Just remember, the biggest hole we have can only be filled by God. And it's only by him filling that hole will we find happiness and contentment and joy, satisfaction, and all those things that we thought we had put in our bucket early that morning. Listen, think it over. Have a great day. I'm Scott Shepherd, and this is Good News For You.